Hey y'all, my first wig and I teamed up together to make a wig that looks exactly like my hair. I'm so excited, y'all. I worked really hard to make sure that the wig was as close to my real hair as possible, and I'm really, really excited to share it with y'all. This is the wig straight out of the package. Um, but I ran my fingers through it like one too many times. It did not come this frizzy. I got a little excited when I was playing in it because it actually mimicked my real hair so much. I was like, I don't know, I was just psyched out. So the way it comes in this black box in a pink bag with these accessories and my hair comes with a hair pick. I use this daily in my regular life so I felt like this was absolutely essential. After washing this hair, I truly fell in love with it because it mimicked my real hair so much. So I just saturated the hair in water. It takes a little while, like my real hair, because it's thick and it's curly. I just used some Aussie Moist um, shampoo and ran my fingers through that. Then I washed it out and the hair literally felt like silk going through my fingers. I rinsed it out and I followed up with the conditioner. Um, I didn't leave that in for very long, maybe like five minutes. And then I just went ahead and washed that out. While I'm editing this video, seriously, I was like, what was I doing for those five minutes? I was showing y'all the cap construction. Okay, so the wig comes with two, two wig clips and it is a lace front wig. Um, there is a huge amount of parting space, like almost like probably like five inches of parting space. And I think that is like, just like having a lace front, you know? So I just went ahead and washed out the conditioner and I dried it with a microfiber towel. And these curls I use what I would define my curls with, just a little lighter product. I usually use the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but that is a little too thick for this hair. So I went in with the milk. I just raked it through the hair and then um, if it got dry, I sprayed it with a spray bottle like I do my regular hair. And then that's how much shedding came out from just raking it through, like not a lot at all. I wish my real hair was like that actually. Um, so then I go in with the Eco Styler Gel and just rake that through. You can see like the little balls, like the little product balls, but once you brush the hair through and re-wet it, they should disappear. If you have a dimming brush, use it because that's what I prefer. Um, and just comb through the hair. And this is so satisfying to watch because the curl bounce back is just, it's gorgeous. And then see the curls clump up and everything. Um, so this is how I clump the curls. If you want to do tighter curls, you can do finger coils. But the way my patience is set up, I don't even do finger coils on my own hair no more. So yeah, that was an out. So while the hair is still kind of wet, I just set it in the style that I want it to dry in. This just makes it easier to style because it's literally like put on, pick and go. Um, I usually, my signature style is my bangs in my face and I take that brush and go back and define some of those curls so they're not so frizzy. This wig application is so beginner friendly, like it's so easy. So I just take it, adjust the back straps, put it on my head, stick the clip ins, pull it to the side a little bit, and then I, that is me, baby. I start to pick it out. And this is just like, you just have to pick it out until your like desired uh, 
fullness. You got to get the perfect amount of curls versus frizz um, because, you know, like that's how you get, you know, like, like I always say, who, don't, who doesn't have any frizz? Who doesn't have any friends? So that's what I'm just doing now. Um, in between, sometimes I take a little bit of Eco Styler gel and I twist it around and take a little bit of water and twist it around just to define some. Like I said, I'm trying to get that perfect mix of frizz and curls. And that's literally all there is to it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and walk y'all through the ordering process because I know sometimes this can get tricky. So this is just on my first wig website and um, it's under full lace wigs, even though it's a lace front. <laughs> and you scroll down and you get to the JLo one and it's Malaysian curly with bangs. And um, I go down, the natural hair color is already selected. Even though my hair is definitely black, um, this is easier for beginners. My lace color is always light, light brown. I always get a cap size too because my head is huge. And I always get a brown wig cap. Also, the glueless lace cap is the only cap. So you don't have to be confused by like different caps you know there's only one um so i'm just gonna add that to my cart i think my computer's taking forever oh yeah it was so right now um my first wig is having a anniversary sale so i just put in the offer code anniversary and that took off twenty dollars and the wig kit comes free and that brings the wig to 255 i think i'm not sure how much shipping is i know that's a deal breaker for some of y'all because it's definitely a deal breaker for me <laughs> but i will check back and let y'all know thank you guys so much for watching i hope y'all enjoy this video and if you order this wig do not forget to tag me on instagram on twitter um i want to see them i love to see them uh okay and i'll see y'all in my next one bye